Hello everybody, welcome in. This is going to be my first ever tutorial video. I'm going to do a little tutorial for you guys today. Um, what we're going to go over today is what to do when you have a map that requires a new save game. So the first thing we do is we need to take down some notes from what we have on the save. Uh, mine is on a server, so I'm going to jump into my multiplayer game and take some notes and make sure I've got everything noted. One of the first things I'm going to note is farmland, what I own, and what everybody else on my map owns. So I got an idea there. And this is actually something that I goofed up early in this save. So I may not transfer this data over. I'll show you guys how to do it or where it is anyway. Um, I will probably won't be transferring this part over as I want to fix some things, hopefully fix some things anyway. But it's the first thing you want to note. And then obviously we want to know some things like how much money each farm has. We want to note that. We want to note equipment owned. Which is a pretty small list. Then we want to note animals. And we want to note what we got in storage. And we need to do that for all the farms. This is also something else I need to fix, as I know this farm doesn't actually own these crops. They are owed to the blue farm. So we'll take a look at fixing that while we're at it. The next thing we want to do is actually do the update. Now to make sure the update takes, we're going to relaunch the game. And I'll be right back. Now that we've verified that we've got the game updated, what we want to go ahead and do is start a new save game. You can pick any slot. I'm going to choose 15. And you can really choose any mode. I'm going to enable easy dev controls just in case we need that for anything. And I'm going to leave everything else at this time disabled.
now that the game's loaded up, all we want to do is save. Probably save twice, because we all do that. And now we can quit. So what we want to do next is find our save games. Here are mine. This is where yours should be too. This PC, Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 22. And this is where you're going to have your mod folders and your save games. Now, because mine's on a server, I don't have my save game here. But yours might be here. You might have it in, you know, save slot one or whatever. And then we'll edit that information over to our new save game, our save game 15. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now, because mine, my old save is on a server, I'm going to go ahead and download that now. And I'll get that brought up and I'll be right back with you. What I like to do is I'll have... Both, I have two file explorer options open. So I have my new save game, save game 15 here, and I have my exi existing save game off the server, save game 20. So what I can do is I'm just going to go through my save game 20 items that I want to put into my new save game 15. We can open up each of these individually. We use, I use Notepad++, so this is my career save game. This has got, you know, a bunch of information in it. It's got all the mods we use in it. I'm going to transfer that over to the new one. It's a very simple process. Minimize that. Take this and drag it. I want to replace the file on this destination. It's as simple as that. And then collectibles. I'll drag that over. Growth state. We can open that up. It's just got some information here. doesn't really have anything. I'm not going to mess with that one because in my save, we're going to kind of start things over a little bit. So that's not a huge deal. Economy, we can open that one up. Check that. It's probably the same as what we have. This is just time periods and how they sell. That's all this information is. I'm going to leave that on the new one. Environment is weather. I'm going to leave my new one. Farmland. This is what farm owns which land. We've got multiple different farmlands through here, and farm ID is which farm owns it. As you can see, we've got some ones, we've got twos, we've got a four. This is one that you will typically transfer over. For me, I'm not going to transfer this one over because, like I said, I want to try and fix some things that I had with the save. But this is typically one you're going to want to transfer over. That way, what you owned before, you will now own again. Uh, but for me, like I said, I'm not going to do that on this one. So we can ignore that one. And we just keep moving on. Uh, we got different farms. This is definitely one we want to transfer over because we got the three farms set up. So we'll go ahead and transfer that over. Replace the file in this destination. Fields, and you know, I just open every one of these up. Fields. We don't have anything planted in there, so I'm not going to bother with that one. Items. Items is typically one you're going to want to transfer over. That's going to have pallets and bales and all that kind of stuff. Since I don't have anything, since this one is blank, I don't need to worry about transferring that one over. Missions. Me, personally, I would want to complete any missions uh, beforehand, but it's just your contracts, so I'm going to leave that one alone. NPC is just your NPC information. We don't need to transfer that one over. Doesn't look like we need to do anything with uncreate objects. Placeables. Now, we do have placeables and this is where things can get a little tricky because you have placeables in this one as you can see let me just drag that over so that's placeables here that's placeables from that one one of the things that he eliminated was his chicken pen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer over 
the save game 20 placeables into my new one, just because I know he changed some things. If anything's wonky, I can get myself a new copy of this, and I'll fix it. But, you know, you can go through here, and you can just sort out pieces if you want to just transfer over pieces. I'm just going to transfer over the whole thing. But you can just transfer over pieces of the data if you want. But like I said, I'm just going to transfer over the whole thing. And we'll figure out, you know, because we can always go back and fix things. Players, that's your player data. I am going to go ahead and transfer that over. It's not overly important. Maybe if you got somebody banned or something like that, you want to transfer that over because it's going to have that saved information. Sales is just your store sales. Uh, no need to really transfer that over unless you really wanted something there. Snow state, stone growth, no big deal there. Tree plant, if you planted any trees, you're going to want to transfer that over. Probably the thing that people are going to find the most important is going to be vehicles. So that's all the vehicles we own, if you look through there. It's got all the information, all the data on them. We're going to want to transfer that one over. And so that vehicle file that I just transferred over, you can also carry that from map to map. So say you're on Stone Valley, you got a set of equipment that you really like, but you want to start Bloomfield, and you think, oh, I want to use the same equipment. It's very easy. You just take that vehicles file from your Stone Valley save, put it into your Bloomfield save, it may be scattered all over the map, but everything's going to be moved over there. You may have to reset things to get them, you know, so you can find them, but you're going to have them all. And that's really all there is to file transfer. We're going to pop back into the save game 15. We're going to take a look at it and see if we got any issues. But pretty much everything is going to be there that we transferred over. We're going to be missing the farmlands, but like I said, um, I had a little issue with that before that I'm going to go ahead and fix manually with, you know, the easy dev controls. But that's really all there is to a new save game. The big deal for everybody is vehicles. It's as simple as taking that vehicles file from your original save game and putting it into your new save game. But I'll be back with you in just a second as we check out the save game 15 and see if we got any issues. Because I'm jumping into the save game, first thing I'm going to, that I can take a look at here is... So before, I deselected all the mods, and now as I come through, I see I have my mods activated for the save game, just like I had them before. That way, if I got mods and I wasn't using them on this save, I don't have any worries about that. The only one I'm going to go ahead and activate, because it was a cross-play server, so I'm going to activate my easy dev controls. It won't hurt anything when I put it back on the server. I'll just remove the mod. Not a big deal. But that's the first thing I checked here. So I got mods that I had before. I don't know what I had and didn't have, but I can see it activated them. So that's the first easy check here. And as I load back up here, I can already see that things worked. I loaded this in new farmer mode, or farm manager, I mean, when I did my save game 15, which this is. Uh, all these buildings were gone because it was farm manager. I can see that my truck transferred over. Had 15.8 hours on it. That seems right. I can cycle through my equipment. Parked exactly where we left it. Just exactly where we left everything. We got chickens there. We still got our chickens. So we can take a look at that. Make sure we still got all three farms. Still got all three farms. We still got our money. We got our chickens, and we got our storage. Got everything we had there. The only thing I suspect we won't see is we don't have our farmland. But like I said, that was something I planned on fixing. So I think that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys got any questions, uh, don't be afraid to put any, you know, ask them in the comments. Go ahead and put your questions in the comments. If you've got any questions on how to do any of this, uh, if you've got any other tutorials that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments as well. Or if you know where to find me on Discord, go ahead and get a hold of me on Discord. I'll go ahead and try and answer as many questions as I can and get you guys helped out.
thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching my first tutorial video. I hope I was able to help a couple people out. Like I said, if you got any questions at all, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. Thanks and have a good day.